Hi, so we're going to be looking at how we can calculate the inductance of a DC motor armature or any other coil you care to mention. Uh, we've got the armature coil there connected up and that's connected up to a function generator to give a sine wave output. We've got two multimeters and I'm just going to draw the circuit here. So We've got a resistor with the inductor coil and measuring the voltage across both components we've got two multimeters both set to measure AC voltage and that is all connected up to a function generator as I mentioned before which gives the sine wave output we're, go we're going to be going on a theory that at the cutoff frequency both these both of these components will form a filter and at the cutoff frequency the resistance across both of them will be the same so therefore the voltage will be the same so as we adjust the frequency at the moment I've got it set up so the voltage drop across both components is exactly the same if we increase the frequency we see that the volt drops change so the volt drop becomes larger across one component than the other but at the cutoff frequency the voltages are exactly the same so I will adjust the frequency till we get the voltages the same and that's quite close to where we want to be and we note the frequency about 5.8k 5 5800 hertz and the voltages are roughly the same and then we can use the the equation for inductive reactants XL at the top there and we can extract the L part from that to work out the the uh, inductance of the coil. Now the bit I didn't tell you about was the resistor in this part. The resistor is 47 ohms. It matches up with the output impedance of the function generator. So 47 ohms, XL therefore equals 47 ohms because they're the same resistance at this frequency so we can rearrange the the formula there to find the inductance of the motor and it's going to be 47 divided by 2 pi times 5800 you can pop all that into your calculator when it comes out you'll see that it's about 1.2 millihenries 1.2 millihenries now to confirm that you can change different resistors so you can use different resistances and you'll have to adjust the frequency up and down but you do it with three or four different resistances the same calculation it will confirm that the inductance of that of that coil that motor coil is around about 1 to 1.2 millihenries is a very quick and good way of, of finding the inductance of a coil. Bye.